Oh, hello. Um, you're back. So, uh, in one of the earlier videos, we talked about the fact that chemistry is interested in measuring or, or learning about features or properties of material objects. Because chemistry is interested in learning about those features, chemistry has to make measurements about those features. So believe it or not, we are going to have to spend a fair amount of time talking about measurement and how to measure things and the good and bad parts of that and that probably sounds like an incredibly boring topic and that's because it is but you're stuck with it and so let's just keep going um, so chemistry measures features of matter we need to talk about measuring things um, one thing to point out is that measurements are often numeric what I mean by that is when you make a measurement of something um, you usually uh, make the measurement and get a number out so if you measure how tall something is you'll you'll measure it al almost always numerically so as an example of that if I went up to you and I said I am 71.5 tall I'm giving you a number here which is a numeric part of the measurement there's a problem with the statement that I wrote it's probably pretty obvious to you um, you don't know what I'm talking about with respect to 71.5 uh, 71.5 what tall am I 71.5 bologna sandwiches tall it's not clear because I'm not giving you any additional information except for that number you need additional information to make sense of the 71.5 so most of you probably know um, what's coming next but just in case you aren't uh, what, what makes this statement a little more understandable to most people is if I give you the number I say I'm 71.5 but then I give you another piece of information right next to that number I say I'm 71.5 inches so whatever an inch is as far as length is concerned I am 71.5 of them tall uh, the inch has a fancy name it's called a unit it is an example of a unit um, and we are going to talk about units a fair amount so what is a unit um, the, when, whenever we make a measurement uh, I can't really think of any exception to this your measurement will need some sort of unit so what is a unit a unit is a specific amount um, that, that people come to an agreement on and I'll try to explain that in a minute a specific amount of some certain feature that we can actually measure and that we can all everybody see the all here we can all use it as a common reference so the way that I want you to think about inches or any other unit is the inch was basically created by a committee of people who got together and said look everybody is on a different page when we're trying to describe how tall things are to each other and we don't want to be confused anymore so let's come up with a common distance or a common measurement of length and I don't know maybe it'll be about this long and we're gonna call that one inch and as long as everybody agrees to make their measurements in inches then uh, nobody's gonna be confused anymore or there will be much less confusion than there is at the moment so an inch is an example of a unit and it's a specific amount it's this much of some feature in this case the feature that we're talking about is tallness or length that we can actually measure hopefully you can measure this and that we can all use it we all come to an agreement because there was a committee that came to an agreement and said this is what an inch is going to be and a lot of people should use this for measuring the length of things so it's not just an inch that can be a unit it's it's any uh, type of thing you that you may want to measure so um, an example uh, of another thing that you may want to measure is how much something weighs and uh, one example of a unit for that is called a pound which you're probably familiar with there is I'm sure some committee out there has gotten together and made a definition for what a pound is so that everybody's on the same page but um, basically when you have a unit then you can make measurements that everyone uh, can compare against and everyone can hopefully understand so that is what we are going to talk about a fair amount in the upcoming sections